Welcome to QFITSView, an application for visualization, analysis and manipulation of FITS files, including spectra, images and data cubes. My name is Mark Dure from the Centre of Astrophysics and Supercomputing at Swinburne University, Melbourne, and these videos are co-sponsored with the Max Planck Institute of Extraterrestrial Physics at Garshing with the application's creators, Thomas Ott and Alex Zagudo. Look in the channel notes for links to the application website online help and further documentation. In this video we will go through the installation and basic functions of the application. Installing QFITSView is straightforward. Go to the installation page, the links given in the video notes, and download the appropriate version for your computer platform, either Windows, Mac OS or Linux. These are pre-compiled, so no build is needed. The single executable or app can be placed in an appropriate folder for Macs, the application folder is fine. From now on, we'll use the Mac version of QFITS View in these videos. The main difference is in command keys. Windows and Linux use the control key, and Mac uses the command key. The latest version is 4.1. It is strongly suggested that you upgrade to this version. We load FITS data using the menu file open. We will load 3D data so we can see all the features, in this case cube example 1. Alternatively, you can use the command O key. Data files are loaded into buffers. To load a second and subsequent file, use the menu buffer new from file. The alternate keystroke is Command-Shift-N. The buffer menu shows the list of loaded files. The main screen is divided into several sections. In the middle we have the image of the data, which may be a cube layer. Further down we have the spectrum under the cursor if we are showing a data cube. At the bottom is the DP user command area. On the left you can see two small images. The top shows a magnified view at the pixel level. The bottom shows the full image with the XY pixel sizes, the current magnification and the direction compass. Above these images, the mouse pixel coordinates and value are shown with the world coordinates if the WCS values are set. Below the images, a slice through the pixel is shown. This is either a horizontal, vertical or radial cut. This is set in the options. You can set the magnification by toolbar control. You can increase or decrease using these buttons or set using the drop down list. If the image is larger than the display screen, you will notice a white rectangle on the small full image, which can be moved around by click and drag. You can also do that using the scroll bar. To reset back to a full window, select Fit Window from the drop-down list. You can lock the cursor position using the L key. As you can see, the spectrum doesn't change as I move the cursor. Pressing the L key again unlocks the position. QFITSView can also blink buffers, that is, by swapping the display quickly so you can see the differences between two images. I'll load two images of the same field with different filters. I can then do the menu, buffer, blink buffers. I select the two buffers that I want to blink. There would be a list of all the buffers there that were available. And then I can do OK. And as you can see, it swaps backwards and forwards quickly between the buffers. You can do this with multiple buffers as well. To stop this, I do buffer, stop blinking. You can also control the speed of the blinking through the time step. In this case, I'm going to change it to 1000 milliseconds, which is one second per blink.
Instead of viewing one buffer at a time and swapping the buffer selection, we can view up to four buffers at the same time through the menu, window, grid, either 2x1 or 2x2. Two two. In this case, I'll do 2x1. As you can see, we can see the two sub-windows. Each sub-window is individually controlled, and which one you have selected, you click on, and you can see this is buffer 2 that you're now selecting. And I can change this color map, say, to rainbow, and then click on this one and change the color map to, say, green there. And as you can see, they're individually controlled. We can revert back to the single image by using the menu Window Remove Grid. That's all for this video. Check out other videos on our YouTube channel.